The Boone family, well known for their decades in show business and also for their faith. We're going to talk to Pat and two of his daughters in just a moment. But first, a little bit about their story. In the 50s and 60s, Pat Boone graced the big screen and topped the charts with nearly 40 top 40 hits and 45 million albums sold. But the Boone's faith was put to the test 12 years ago when Pat's grandson, Ryan, suffered a horrific fall that nearly claimed his life. And it's that story, that personal challenge that's recounted in the new book, Heaven Hears, written by Ryan's mother, Lindy Boone Michaelis. She's here along with her dad, Pat, and her sister, Debbie. Good morning to all of you. It's good to see you. Good morning, man. Let's go back 12 years. You're on vacation, I think, in Spain. Yes. And Ryan falls 40 feet off the roof of his condo. How badly injured was he? Um, he very nearly died. He wasn't expected to live. So he fell through a skylight. He was going up to get some sun, stepped on a skylight, and it broke, and he fell down to concrete three stories below. Debbie, you're the one who I understand broke the news to Lindy. My mother called me, and I was given the task to find her in Spain and let her know she needed to get on a plane and come back and be here for Ryan. So, yeah, that was a, a daunting task. Pat, your family is known for your faith. Yeah. And a good friend of yours, Larry King, knew about that. Yeah. And he made you an offer after yeah. this happened to your family. He said, come on the show, yeah. talk about what happened, but also let's ask for prayers. Yes. Did, did you have any second thoughts about doing that? It was a pretty raw time for your family. No, no. We, we wanted everybody anywhere to pray with us. And Larry, which was so great, it calls himself an agnostic. Honestly, he says, I just wish I had a faith like yours. But it just for this Jewish kid from Brooklyn, it's never connected. But would you like to come on and ask people to pray? He had an audience on every show of some 50 million people. And you guys have been on TV an awful lot over your lives. But, boy, after that show aired, you were inundated with yeah. letters and prayers from people from everywhere. Oh, everywhere. And, and you truly believe, and this is partly what yeah. this book is about, that it was those prayers that were answered. Definitely. I mean, we relied heavily on prayer. When I was in Spain, I was so grateful for the gift of prayer. I couldn't get to my son for 24 hours. So um, the prayer was vital. And, and again, being dip deeply religious mm -hmm. people, a lot of people would question their faith after an accident like the one Ryan went through. Pat, I was very interested the way you put it. You said this. You didn't think that God caused this to happen. You think he allowed it to happen. Yeah. And I wonder what you mean by that. Well, he doesn't prevent our, the consequences of our decisions. You know, Ryan and his buddy went up on the roof to get some sun. There was a skylight. It was not marked. It wasn't guarded. People knew it was there. He must have tripped in some way and fallen through. There are consequences to actions. But God uh, says, I'll go through it with you. And he did not even prevent his own son's death because there was a purpose in it. How is Ryan doing today, mm -hmm. most importantly? So much better than anybody had ever predicted. He is happy, he talks, he eats, he is getting better in his movements all the time, more and more cognitive, reads. He's funny. He's funny, <laughs> yeah. makes us laugh. And, and there's a part of this story that's going to get some headlines, okay, because this is the Boone family after all, <laughs> yeah. the wholesome Boone family, the religious <laughs> yeah. Boone family, yeah. and there's a part of his recovery that relies on medical marijuana. I'm very grateful that this is available legally for Ryan right now. He has a very strong, aggressive reaction um, if he sees a man he doesn't know, and it's very involuntary. It's not the rational it's part like of his Tourette's. brain. It's like Tourette's. It's really the fight or flight part of the brain, and he um, feels threatened by other men. So we were kind of limited as to where we could go. He's great with our family and with the men in our family. But um, when I'm able to give him some a little bit of brownie, a little bit of chocolate, something that calms his anxiety, we can go to church. And, and, and quickly, <laughs> Debbie, I know this, this obviously as all this focus was on Ryan and his recovery, it put a lot of stress on this family. Well, yes, it did, but it also brought us together in the ways that families, I think, are the strongest. You know, we, we united, um, we supported each other, and there was something so incredibly beautiful about it. It strengthened rather than tore us apart. I think it made us all a lot stronger. And my sister has become my hero in the way that she has been Ryan's greatest advocate and oh. her courage. I think a lot of people are going to find inspiration in the story. The book is called Heaven Here. Wonderfully Hears. written, good book. Debbie, yeah. Pat, Lindy, thank you. Thank you Thanks for so sharing much. your story and, and give Ryan our best. We will. Will. He's watching. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> and you can read an excerpt from this book 
on our website. That's today.com.